And we're live on Twitch. On the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. I gotta say, I was at work. In the last half an hour of work, I was just thinking to myself, I should stream. So this is technically my first stream. And uh, let's get into it. Perfect timing. It's nighttime, so you can't can't technically see very much of what's going on here, can you? Hello, hello, ninja. Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's see if we can sleep and shoo away some of this night time, I think. And then we can get started. So I don't really have a plan this evening of what I'm going to do. So I guess we'll kind of make it up as we go. I got the stream playing on my laptop. And it's a little bit concerning because it's not looking too smooth. So hopefully it's coming through live well enough. Hello, Jimbo. Right, let's fly down here and take a look at what's going on down here. So I've set up this rail cart to uh, collect the junk that these fishies are dropping although I'm a little bit concerned because minecart sometimes gets stuck in that corner so we might have to move all of this collection stuff down that way so that the minecarts aren't turning corners getting stuck in corners and all that buggy stuff that happens Hola, Jimbo. see what's going on on the server. Having a bit of creative block on my own island, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do right now. Let's see. Difficulties. One sec, I got some skipped frameage. Sometimes. 
Anyways, hello Turebo. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? What are you up to? sure Jimbo's stalking me at this point. That Jared says, is the frame rate, frame rate me? Um, yes. Also, Streamlabs is just freaking out right now. I have to fix this really quick. These overlays are going crazy. How's it going, Jared? What's up? is not bad which is pretty good in my books I think Terebo was trolling me with the X raid earlier Lol. Yeah, Jimbo's gonna hang out here. He can mine some of these vines. No freeloading. No freeding on. No freeloading on this island. Can't talk apparently. I probably should have prepared some sort of project to work on. Can someone tell me how the volume is with the game versus the music? I'm trying to find a balance and uh, helpful to know if we're anywhere near pretty good balance or not. Much faster with two people.
classic. Try and fly on a server. Jimbo, what are we going to work on? Sitting on stairs in Minecraft is probably one of the most derpy things you can do on this server. But after all, it is uh, Isuma's server, so if you weren't doing derpy things, then would it really be his server? the intro song for the stream so we don't really need to play it again this is new fred's tunnel agent fred sick this is the airship isn't it i think i flew by this i was like holy crap whose base is that i'm pretty sure it's an airship whoa whoa look at this what on earth is going on here what See now, it's it's crazy builds like this that really not only inspire but also make you think like, what the heck am I working on? What am I building? <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, hold on. We have to do another flyby. Agent Fred. This base is nuts, man. Uh oh. That's not a good sound. I'm ready. Where are they? Uh, there they are. Get wrecked! Oh, okay. Daytime. That's equally as fun, I guess. Yeah, man, Fred, this is nuts. I don't know if you're on the stream. I assume you are. This is pretty crazy. I have to like fly around and get a good look at this. Hmm. 
I like it. Oh, wait a second. Maybe, maybe a slight design flaw. But only if you like to walk off the side of stairs, which I do, because that's just a weird thing, apparently. Yes. X is indeed streaming. Not sure how long I'll be streaming for, but probably about an hour. Maybe two. Maybe three. Maybe seven. Probably not seven. Cheaty map mode engaged. Okay, yeah. Last time I was here at this base, this crazy, crazy insane base, it was much, much, much smaller. Very cool. I like it. I think I'm gonna take it and make it my base. Oh, this song is maybe a little too energetic. Hi. Learn to fly much? has a really insane base. Maya hasn't been online for quite some time, so probably not her. We could always go to Osime, assuming I'm pronouncing that right. There's always some crazy stuff going on there. Come, Jimbo. You know what? Change of plans. Um, Jared, where's your base? I don't think I've ever been to your base. Let's poke around. Glorf and Atok um, created this, this base which is absolutely magical. And so the, what's really cool about those two is not only did they create this crazy base, but there's everything tells a story. Everything in this place has a backstory, has a purpose. It fits into their grand plan. And slowly each day, it's just Un unveiling piece by piece their their grandmaster plan for taking over the server. That's no, that's not new. I've seen that. Uh, Seven sixty eight on the east axis. East Axis Tunnel from the Nether. So let's let's head back that way and go see what's going on in, in Jaredville. Whoa! Nope. Thought I could fly through there, but uh, my skills. Also, where is it? Here? Did I get lost? Okay, I found it. But I think I lost Jimbo, so... Bye, Jimbo. Jimbo 7... Uh, 768. 768 East. I'll meet you there. Nope. <laughs> there we go.
We're on the move. Somebody needs to deal with that guest. And by someone, I mean Jared with a kill all command. Make sure you're only killing the guests, though. Just FYI. Move, please. I want my boat. Um. Wait. Hamlet project. Did I go too far? Should we play hot or cold here? Getting warmer, getting warmer. Okay, Jared's going to log in and show us where we're going. Because I don't have a clue if I even went the right way. And frankly, I blame Jimbo, because why wouldn't I? Don't, don't break things. I say not far enough. Also, Rick Astley, Astley, I'm gonna get it censored for that, is a legend. No joke. <laughs> Always turning around. Watch your back. Sorry, just checking something. One second. I'm searching for some sunshine. Jeez. I swear, anytime I look away from my screen for three seconds, Jimbo just pops up into my face. Six eighty five. We've gone too far, peeps. Oh, we're going the wrong way again. Hold on. We found it. I found it completely by myself. Oh, I kind of like what you've done with the tracks. That looks cool. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the wrong way to Rebo. I would say it's the binky way. Oh dear. 
What am I looking at? Raybo, do you know how I know how to pronounce your name? Question mark. This is really cool, Jared. I've... <laughs> I've honestly never really liked the desert as a biome. It never struck me as a place to settle in. But I would settle here. And I might. Because this looks cool. Oh, take to the skies. Whoa, didn't even notice that. this is called but that looks really cool is it Anubis no yes maybe whoa okay these these bases on this server are on another level this is massive Hello, kitty. By watching my streams, says Terebo. I didn't know you were a streamer, man. Okay, Jared. Do you want to build my base for me? I think the cat's are a bit of a theme here. I have seen some of Garth's space. It is Anubis, yes. Okay, cool. That was the first thing that came to my mind, but... Also not a history buff, so, you know, it can be 50-50, you're either right or you're wrong. Time to wreck some zombies. Bam. Get wrecked. Close it up. Well, this is my base, ladies and gentlemen. Not the whole thing. Just, just this. This little bucket of water is mine. Nuts, man. Do you have like hidden tunnels and secret passageways? There's lots of that in Ozime. This feels like. Not to like downplay what it is because it's incredibly incredible. <laughs> it's like a desert Ozime kind of, which is just a point of reference for me. Equally as ambitious and intense. I like it. Metamorphic Mike, welcome to the stream. I am Canadian. Therefore, I'm offended because you think I'm American. No, I'm just, just kidding. I'm not. Um, yeah, so 
Mr. Metamorphic Mike. Uh, yes, I'm Canadian. So I guess technically American, North American. I do, I do live in the UK. So I'm touring bases because I didn't come prepared today with anything to do on the server or my base. So Jared, um, where and what should we see here? Hey Garth, welcome to the stream. Garth is a moderator, so respect his authority. just came from Fred's base, which is this incredible, gigantic airship with hundreds of millions and thousands and billions of little blocks of detail, which is insane. And now we're at Jared's base. This very, very ambitious project he's got going on here, and it's coming together. It looks really incredible as well. Definitely said that right. I don't know how to mod in Twitch, lol, says Garth. Yeah, welcome to the club. I guess just click on people's names and ban them permanently. That's probably what I would do. But then I'd probably end up banning myself somehow, which is probably not even possible, but I would find a way. Very binky indeed, Jimbo. Very binky indeed. I think maybe I'll come back later for these gold blocks. Don't tell anyone. storage here, I'm guessing. That's pretty awesome. X-Raid? That's pretty wild. Hey everyone from Misuma's stream. Welcome to my stream. And uh, thank you X for the raid. That's pretty awesome.
didn't really come on here uh, to stream for that, but that's a pretty interesting uh, occurrence for our first stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm quite literally just touring people's bases because I didn't really come prepared to work on a project. This server is the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. This is Asuma's community server. Hello, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. The uh, the X-rate is a little bit unexpected, but uh, welcome anyways. Okay, Jared, where did you go? Okay, cats. Thanks for popping by momentarily. No worries, no worries. See you later, man. Yeah, this, this build is really incredible. This is Jared's base on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, and it is pretty incredible. Okay, and quite behind on the noises. The noises are pouring into my eardrums, and I don't quite know what to do with them. Okay, Jared, lead the way. I try to get by something that I'm not into. My mind is paralyzed. RIP headphones says metamorphic mic. Indeed. Yep, RIP headphones. And yours too, I assume. Pinky Bear says, I'm glad X decided to raid you. I like you. Well, thank you very much. I like you as well. I like your name. Distracted reading the chat. A lot, a lot of peeps came by. A lot of peeps. You're most welcome, Pinky Bear. Welcome to the stream. Woo. So that pyramid over there, I'm assuming, is your bulk storage, Jared? That's what it looks like to me. Oh yeah, this texture pack is um, somewhat customized by me. It's based off of um, Lithos Core. Um, so shout out to them. I, of course, completely don't know who made it. So shout out to them.
Awesome Fighter 01 wants to know how many non X ray viewers did I have before the raid? I had, I think, five. So it went from five to like a billion very, very quickly and startled me a little bit. And I'm a little bit uh, speechless from that. But of course, it's incredible. So a uh, big thanks to Asuma for that. Metamorphic Mike hears the Canadian in the accent. Well, that's good. Hear more of the Canadian and less of the American, I hope. I love cats. Go to sleep, man. Stop keeping me up. Well, terribly sorry. Right. You know what? Actually, let's do a flyby. Let's take to the skies and uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. It is really incredible, the amount of detail that went into this. And I'm assuming it's not done. Of course, whose base is ever done? Wild. This is incredible. I mean, this, this, this alone would be such an amazing base. And we're out of rockets. Let's get some rockets. Jen Smuffles. We do not play in peaceful. This is a survival enhanced vanilla server. We'll go with that. I say enhanced because it's not purely vanilla. We we play with some data packs and different quality of life improvements that we've that the mods and admins have made to the server. Taken to the skies. Did you see your base is on the extended trungle map now? Meta my quest. I did not know that. Damn, those portals are loud, sorry. No, I didn't know that. That's wild. I bet it looks really mediocre compared to the base we just saw. <laughs> Marcus Gaming wants to know how long have I been playing Minecraft? I have been playing Minecraft on and off for probably about three years. I've been streaming since about an hour ago. So yeah, on and off for the last three years, but um, more so frequently since the reset that we had on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server.
Right. Let's. Jimbo's Jimbo's getting a free ride. <laughs> Jen Smuffles, yes. Um, it is a little bit freaky deaky to be raided by someone like X on the first stream. But hey, you know, it's it's cool. I would definitely not say no. Okay, cool. Well, my boat disappeared. Mikey1000, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit. We got x-rayed. Oh yeah, this is, well, this is not a nether base. This is our nether hub. It's been on the server since before I joined, but you know, incredible stuff. So massive community build in its time. Gen Smuffles, Smuscles, Smuscles? I'm probably gonna butcher that name. Jen Smuscles wants to know how long has this current version of the server been going? It has been going for just about a year. So as of the 26th of this month, it will have been live for a year, I believe. And we're having a Let's Play Minecraft Together stream day that day. With a bunch of streamers from the community. Including myself. Okay, Torebo, have a good evening, day, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thanks for tuning in. Jen, just streaming tonight because it was about half an hour before I stopped working. And on my way home, I just got a little bit hyped and decided to stream. Not really in preparation for... Hello. Floating chicken. Um... Okay. Awesome Fighter wants to know, am I more of a technical player or a builder player? Uh, X is kind of both. Yeah, X is a bit of both, isn't he? I would say, yeah, I'm a bit of both, I think. In fact, I'm taking a really long time to get there, but we're going to head over to my base. I would think... Oh, we can go see Osheim. Jared wants us to see Osheim. That I am totally cool with. Because Osheim is an incredible part of this server. So let's go check it out. A uh, voxel map is available for 1.13 by using a mod loader called Rift. Peeps, this is Osheim. So if you haven't seen this before, get ready because this place is absolutely magical. Come 
Come on, fly. Oh my god. Flying can be tough sometimes. There's not even that many people online. So this place was built by Glorfin Atok from the server. And what's really interesting about it is not only the, te the attention to detail that makes this place so magical, but also the story. Every corner of this base tells a story. And it's really, really cool. I like the purple. The purple and white is cool there. There's some whales swimming in the water. Might be able to make them out on the stream. But if you're on the server, then you can come and check it out for yourself. Very cool. It's always inspiring to come here and, and see how it evolves and the new the new builds that pop up every day. Glorf and Atok are very, very very talented builders and storytellers. Where's floating chicken man? Yeah, the pop-ups should be working. Streamlabs using Streamlabs, so it's kind of the first official test of uh, the streaming setup. So hopefully the audio and the the game volume and music and everything is coming through balanced and sounds decent. Pinky Bear says this is honestly stunning. It really is. It's one of the many stunning builds on the server. Oh, it's a duck themed skin, of course. Of course it is. I love your skin is funny out of context, Metamorphic Mike. You're not wrong. <laughs> Never flown an F5 before. It makes me nervous. Right, Mr. Metamorphic of the mic. Your base is basically right here, so... This is... Metamorphic Mike's base. I might have came in at the wrong point. Yook's Hilltop Mansion. Okay. Yook was streaming earlier. I was watching that at work. My base is still very much a work in progress as Metamorphic Mike. Cool. I think everybody's base is a work in progress. I think it kind of just stays that way. Until you get <laughs> rumors of a overworld reset start popping up and then people are like, oh my god. Panicking. 
Jimmy2901. Binky! Indeed. Binky, indeed. Welcome to the stream. Oh, what? Okay. Peeps. There's a story here. Hype, hype, hype. Metamorphic Mike. What is the meat truck? Free candy? I don't know if I want to get free candy from this truck. I Boople Snoot fifty four says I give you ten out of ten. Do you mean the Osime base that we just visited? Because that's like a million out of ten. Anyways, we're here to to see stuff. Oh, I've never seen this before. Oh, is this? Oh, this is a crane. Mm. Loading up a cargo ship. That's dope. Real Fally, not to be confused with the fake ones out there, wants to know. Hey Binky, any good Viking bases on the server? Cough, 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 cough. Um, you know what? I doubt it. But maybe. I mean, I don't know what everybody's up to on the server. Okay. I am well and truly distracted. <laughs> Let's take to the skies. It's a good way to see everything very quickly, isn't it? Let's get a high level view. And then we can narrow in on some of the interesting and or confusing bits. Ow. One thing I've yet to try, actually, is the combination of dead coral blocks in pavement textures. That's really cool. I keep seeing it, and I just haven't had a chance to try it yet. Sleep text is purple now. Is that intentional? I guess that is more of a metamorphic mic question, isn't it? As he is one of the admins on the server. You can ask math questions, Pinky Bear. I'm not sure if I'm qualified to answer them, depending on the difficulty of it, but we'll see. It's true. I left this sign here about a week ago. I came to see his base about a week ago. 
and I haven't uh, removed the sign. Bad moon chaser, not boring, but got to go. Take care. Okay. Have a good day, evening, morning. See you around. We're just touring people's bases because I am creatively challenged at the moment and I don't know what to do. Yook has a really interesting base style too. Really cool, I like it. Yeah, the mini mushroom island is pretty cool. Also, side note, can I just say it's insane that there's still 151 viewers here? As amazing as it is to get raided by someone as incredible as Suzuma, 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 you know, viewers tend to fall off rather quickly, and that's totally fine. Fally, Fally, Fally. Okay, I don't remember where Fally's base is. He's not responding, so... Right, let's, let's head to my base. We'll just see what's going on on my little duck island. Hey, TD, on the server. Business partner. Partner in crime. Trident selling moguls. It shows you doing something right, says Garth. Jeez. Doing something right. I suppose so. Maybe just not doing something horribly wrong, which is perfectly okay. Right, so this... Damn it, the portals are so loud. This is my island. There's quite a bit going on. I guess we'll start where it started. So when I first moved in, there was a shipwreck here and immediately I thought I should just rebuild it and refurbish it. And that's kind of what I've done uh, with a build inspired by a YouTuber who I have completely forgotten the name of, as these things tend to happen. So yeah, it started with that. Got to go to a dumb appointment, says Mikey Cat 1000. Cool. Enjoy your dumb appointment. There was a question earlier if I'm more of a builder or a technical person. Builder technical person. I would say more of a builder because technically these are very simple technical things to build. But yeah, I guess a hybrid of both. Whoa. Whoa. Yikes.
So the overall theme that I'm going for with my island is a, a sort of a cocktail of a couple different ideas. The more recent one being sort of an oriental temple sort of countryside theme. So I built the pagoda there. Had a different style for this nether portal here and decided to change it so that it would fit the theme a bit better. And then I built the temple finally. I'd been procrastinating that for several weeks and finally got to it and I think it looks really cool. I think it turned out really well. Maybe not as big as it could have been. Still is pretty big. And then I have a little community build section here. I'm still trying to get people to build houses over here. So this floating village is meant to house all of my villagers. So still waiting for people to come over and build a little house. This one here is Garth's house. He built this one a little while ago. Garth's holiday home. And then Andel built a prison, which I didn't love at the time, but I think it's kind of funny. The joke lives on. And uh, Yakame came and built a lovely little desert-themed house as well. And Jimbo has an invisible house right here. Build it. You should build your house. Hint, hint. And yeah, then there's some trading halls. and The villagers are meant to go in here for trading. And then all the nitwits and useless trade traders. Traders. Villagers. Are meant to be in the village once it's built. And then I have a floating island here. Which I, I thought it would be kind of cool. I've always wanted to build something. Kind of like a floating island ripped out of the ground. So I started building this and uh, actually had one of the, another member on the server help me with some of the more detailed terraforming, so some of the details underneath and the crater that it was ripped out of was, uh, was built by a friend on the, on the server. It's not finished yet, we're still working on that. Garth says, wow, I need to come and visit again. That pagoda looks great. Well, thank you. You're welcome to visit anytime, of course. My original plan for the pagoda was to... Okay, so to, to preface this next point, one of the cool data packs or plugin modification type things we have on this server is trophies. We often have community events and, and contests for which people are awarded trophies. And um, I was planning on putting them here. And then I forgot. And I had Garth actually place my trophy in the houseboat. So now it's in the houseboat. Suppose I could move it, but I'm not going to bother. Let's go check out Jimbo's base. And how we're going to get there is by swimming. in the super fast dolphin highway that we built. Rude. Jimbo, why is there blocks? Okay. You should probably fix that. God says, want me to move it. Yes. Eventually. No rush. We'll get to it. Bye bye, Marcus Gaming. You have to sleep? Cool. Have a good night. So Jimbo, what's the story here? What's what's the ambition? What's the goal? What's the dream? What's happening? 
Tell us about your base. That was fun lag right there. So Jimbo and, and TD, TD who we actually just saw smashing his face into the ground, he's up there now, built this. There's a lot of really technical crazy stuff happening here. Farms and all kinds of utilities. Pinky Bear says, it's official, I hate math. Yes, welcome to the club. If the calculator can't do it for me, then it's not worth my time. That's what I say. Uh, you have a, you have a, and you have a pest problem here, Jimbo. Oh, sorry, peeking in your chest. So yes, I know a bit of what's going on here, at least the the overall goal with the base. I think Jimbo's going for a, a glass diamond shape, which is really cool. I've seen it in a creative testing world and it looks really cool. So I'm well and truly a million years behind on the noises. Looks like there's a ton of followers. Suma is one of them, very cool. So thank you to everyone who followed. flyby because then you can really appreciate the the colors quite fond of the colors in the glass Jimbo is one of my good friends on the server and um, I always bug him about getting distracted because he does get very distracted and it takes him forever to finish builds so it might take a while to see the finished product here but um, sure it'll be worth it so we'll see also for some reason he decided to put a rude fella throwing mean things at people in between our bases metamorphic mike says up to 40 followers gg oh thank you i think i uh i think i got most of those followers from asuma so i will I'll definitely have to thank him. <laughs> Jimbo says, I will move him at some point. Very good. Because I've been building, I've been digging this over here, my uh, guardian farm. Very similar to what x is building but mine the farm is the same but the the aesthetic on top is going to be uh, quite different my plan is to turn this into a gigantic volcano so that the volcano will protect me from this nasty fellow so he's been throwing tridents pretty much non-stop while i've been working over here not a very good shot it's got pretty lousy aim, I'm completely honest with you. Oh, you know what? We can go check out Polymath Space. Mr. Polymath on the server. He's one of the moderators. Real Valley says PewDiePie intensifies is that a reference wow so this is mr. poly math space and I think it is 
what do they call these things? Oil? Is that an oil rig? Floating... Floating in the ocean. I don't remember what they call those. I guess it's an oil rig. It's very cool. I like it. Whoops. 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 Uh oh. I never said I was a professional flyer. Oh my days. I forgot about this. We have... What is this? The Titanic? Yeah. Who built the Titanic? This is just off the coast of Trungle City. Trungle City is that way somewhere, maybe? That way, that way, the other way? I don't remember. Very cool. It hasn't sunk yet. But, uh, it's not looking so good up here. Oh dear. Yikes. The ship is doomed. And as always, flying the wrong way. So we'll head over to Trungle City. Trungle City is probably s is the the main focus point of of the server. Kind of the the server theme. It's a big massive city. We've converted a massive jungle. I say converted, but we're still in the process of actually converting it because it is absolutely ginormous. And we're building a huge, gigantic, modern city, which started here in this area, actually, with people building skyscrapers. The idea, of course, inspired by Mr. Good Times with Scar. This whole project, in fact, was actually inspired by his Season 5 build on Hermitcraft, I believe. It's absolutely gigantic, this project. is really, really cool. Exotic Pet has followed. Thank you very much. That might have happened like an hour ago, and I just haven't gotten to it until now, but if you're still here, thank you very much. Where are we? This place is crazy town. Oh yeah, let's check out the Christmas tree. The Trungle Christmas tree. I believe WM Fawn built this, and she's actually on the server talking right now, as you can probably see. Of course, a, l a lot of people helped with building this tree. As with most community projects on this server, it's, it's always a collaboration between a ton of really incredibly talented builders and just dedicated Minecrafters. Really dedicated to making this server just, you know, the best server ever, of course. Oops, that was a little bit of schematica. Lightmatica, I should say. Yeah, voxel map really helps you get a, a sense of the scale for this place. This is the library built by Glorfin Atok and many, many others. I believe this is the library. The project was led by Glorfin Atok, I believe. Again, another one of those things that everybody kind of chips in to make it happen. You'll notice with Glorfin Atok style, the whole Osim story, it comes with these, these um, figures, chibis, I believe they call them chibis. 
Oh, these two are like pumping the water or something. That's really cool. Very cool. These torches? That Jared says, I'm in love with those torches. I'm seriously in love with those torches. Sorry. I almost undersold the seriousness there. My bad. Oh, the textures. Check out the offhand texture. Bam. Yeah, this whole texture pack is really cool. It's a uh, Lithos core. Again, I mentioned before, I don't remember the the author of the texture pack, but I've I've customized quite a bit of it to my own liking. This is just unbelievable. Pretty crazy what you can what can happen when you get a whole server full of really crazy talented builders. Damn it, that's not the map button. No, the map button. So that's the stadium there. I guess we could go check that out. You've probably seen the stadium again. The map. Quite a lot on X's streams. Jared asks, are you using the fancy tech texture flight pack? Oh, the texture pack, the, the flight wings, the wing flights, the wings and flights and things. The Elytra texture pack that uh, Terebo, Pony, and Jared made. You know what? I was actually looking at that today. And um, not yet, but I made a note to download it and try it out. It looks pretty cool. I don't know what this is. What is this? Anyways, it's a stunning build. Absolutely incredible. Oh, there's the bank. That's not quite done yet, but um, I believe Platypus Prince on the server has been sort of spearheading that project. There was a post office around here somewhere. The museum, says Garth. All right. Ah, here we go. I believe this is one of the newer additions to Trumbo City. Hold on, let's get a little bit higher and do a flyby. Yeah, look at that. Really cool. Again, this is another project that was led by Glorf and Atok. They're kind of just everywhere leading all kinds of interesting adventures, projects on the server. This is the post office. We built this, I guess it was finished two weeks ago? About two weeks ago on the server. Yeah, and it's just another really, really big build. This was built in... One weekend, I believe. Again, the detail is just absolutely mind-blowing. Mind-boggling, I tell you. Fally, remind me again, where is your base? We're going to go check out the real Fally's base. We don't, we don't mess around with the fake one. East 304 says enormous apple pie. You know what? I'm actually kind of hungry. So 
so an enormous apple pie sounds pretty great. And it's east from Trungle, and we are not flying east. Typical. Is this music satisfactory? Music is one of those things that's very subjective, isn't it? So you got some people that either love it, hate it, mind it, tolerate it, you know. Ozer plays, says yes. Okay. And Jared says it's pretty good. And metamorphic mic. It's fine. It's fine. What on goodness me? That's gonna be big, whatever that is. Right, Valley says plus 3,127 and minus 822. Right. This could take a little while. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, damn it. I was reading chat. I noticed... Oh, my God. I noticed that at the last second. Uh, it's the wings, isn't it? They broke. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, okay. Well, this actually might be closer to... Yeah, broken. So this might actually be closer to where we need to go. Binky's Bits. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, peeps, pay attention to those wings, right? That would never happen to me. You know what? I'm just going to go through the nether. I feel like that's probably going to be a bit faster. Crazy Marf is lurking. Crazy Marf comes in here with his crazy lurks. Welcome to the stream. I'm confused. I'm a little bit disoriented. I just died because my wings broke. Fally. Remind me for like the hundredth time, where are we going from here? Yeah, Pinky Bear. I wasn't looking at the screen because I'm doing homework and I just heard splat and go, oh God, and then laughed. You know what? I'm not so bothered about it. The wings broke. I went soaring into the ground. And, you know, it happened. That's all I can say. And it made you laugh, so win-win, right? Plus, who wants two levels anyways? We're back to zero, which is exactly where I need to be. 304 east. Let's do it. Wrong way, says Jimbo. Did I read that wrong? Crazy Marf says, you should visit our kingdom soon. Yes, I should. We're heading to the real Fally's base right now. And then, yeah, I would love to come and check out what's going on in your kingdom. Again, that's a statement that out of context is just kind of strange, isn't it? East Tunnel. Where are we going? What are we even doing? 
East tunnel, 304. Right. Focus. We'll get there. Well, Jared. Oh, I think I've gone too far. Derp. How long does that water breathing last? Says Jerry. As long as I want it to. Valley's Viking Kingdom village. I said village. Lead the way, sir. Yes, okay, so here we are in Fally's base. And so this is where we come to eat the foods. Feed me. You need a stick. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. I think we're using the wrong one. Shush, no one saw that. Exotic Pet says stop the stream. Yes, in fact, we will. I can't imagine the stream will go on forever, so yeah, it will stop eventually. Right. Valley's Viking Kingdom. He was streaming about this a couple days ago, so there were some plans discussed there that I shan't go into. Some secret stuff. Very symmetrical. Oh, I remember what one of the plans were. To build a ship. A partially built ship is going there. So there you go. Spoiler, you heard it from me. I think you're going to have to watch Fally's stream if you want to find out what's going on here, because I don't know. I certainly don't know what the whole story is here. Other place says, well, I'm going to go watch TV. Bye. Okay, see ya. Enjoy your TV. God says you should check out BBS HQ while you're near. I believe that's Boat Buddies.
Metamorphic Mike says butt buddies. Oh dear. Yikes. I can neither confirm nor deny that one. I say this all the time, but I feel like it's nighttime. Like, all the time. There is no daytime on this server. It's not a conspiracy, it's the truth. Well, Mr. Fally, I don't too much know what the plans are here, but I like where it's going. Squez wants to know, maybe a stupid question, but what kind of texture pack are you using? You know, there's no stupid questions. All questions are good questions. This texture pack is called... Sorry. This... These portals are really loud, sorry. Getting distracted again. The, the texture pack is called Lithos Core. It's been customized. Nice. I'm not on the ice. I've heavily customized this theme uh, texture pack. Felt like it was an excellent place to start. But it wasn't quite giving me what I wanted. So we're going to go check out Boat Buddy's HQ. So that means we're following Garth. Lead the way, sir. say that but we'll just go with Luke wants to know how do you not get bored of Minecraft especially when you do large projects um, well everybody has their own way of dealing with the boredom for me it's it's about envisioning what the big project is going to be what what you're working on what it's going to become and try to think of what that's going to feel like when it's done I always feel like when you start a massive project, it can always feel very tedious. Especially if there's a lot of different phases involved with making something happen. It, it can be very lackluster, I guess. But if you have an organized plan and you kind of just stick to it, then you eventually get it done. Okay, we're looking down because I don't want to ruin it. I've heard about this place, and I've seen some sneaky peek screenshots of this place. We're going to see it together. Bam! Ah. Nice. This is really cool. So I believe the story here is that these are the first 20 the first 20 people who settled in the boat buddies area. I don't quite know how it goes. Terebo. Garth of course. So I believe Terebo and Garth built all of these. Grace. Grace, Grace. One of the mods on the server. Valkyrito. This is really cool. I think I know what would make it just a 
tiny bit better, though. Garth, if you'll indulge me. There's, there's a lack of duck-related subjects. Okay, we're following Garth. We've been summoned by Garth. Whoops. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I saw this. In, um... It was either Taribo's stream or Fally's stream. Anyways. Wow. This... Okay, this is... This is intense. This is a ship, I guess. This is the um, boat buddies. Me oh, meeting room for the cult. Yes. Right. Ah, Fally left. Or is leaving. Well, I hope you have a good night, and thanks for coming by, if you're still here. This looks epic. Garth says, I've been working on it for the last few days. Few days? What? You dug all of this out and built this gigantic boat in a few days? That's... I don't know if I believe that. That is crazy if it's true. Who's this? Ah, of course it's Rainbow. Unwoven Rainbow. Yes. Another moderator on the server. Sick. Ah, uh, Garth says, I planned it on Nick's server. Nick is one of the members of this of the Let's Play Minecraft together server that we're currently playing on. Uh, digging doesn't take that long. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? Digging, I guess digging is kind of the easy part, isn't it? And if you have a plan, if you know what the boat's going to look like, or if you know what whatever your build is going to look like, then that's, of course, the hard part done. Lead the way, Mr. Pie, Mr. Enormous Apple Pie. Oh my god, I am hungry. I should have probably had some dinner before I started the stream, but that's okay. We'll get to that after the stream, of course. Oh no, wait for me. Trying to get into these boats. Whoops. Ah, we made it. We're in the boat.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is... I recognize this. This is, um... This is somebody's base. Yay! Is this Garth's base? Garth and... Is it just Garth? Not even Garth. Oh, jeez. Unsub. I'm just gonna sit here in my shame. Okay, then is it out of place for me to say I've seen Garth lurking around here, plotting all kinds of mischief? Okay, now again. Get out of the water. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Offbreed says, I really like this style. Well, I would have to agree. This is an excellent style, and it looks really good. Oh, that is such a good use of anvils. Practical and aesthetically fun. Fun? Well, maybe fun's the right word. I don't know if I would actually describe it as fun, but I did, so whatever. Right, so this is the kingdom of... Words. The kingdom of... Nope. This is a kingdom... So this is Crazy Marf, Enormous Apple Pie, and Obsessive Hugger's base. This is their creation. So you know what I have to do. You have to take to the sky and get a good look at this. These bases are huge. Like, come on. On this server? These peeps? No. They don't play around. Pronounced like Thiel, says Enormous Apple Pie. Okay. That's exactly how I pronounced it, I thought. Oh, those lanterns lighting up the pathway. So good. You got the main castle, I suppose guarding the fountain because let's be honest peeps if you're going to build a fountain like this it's got to be well guarded let's poke around let's take a look inside is there any chests who's got some chests with diamonds in it yes I did it I killed it Nobody helped. Oh, how fantastic. This is really cool. The towers, those look exceptional. Floating beacons. I mean, the floating beacons really sell the vibe here, do they not? Can we get some floating beacon vibes? Hype in chat. Okay, well, I have to say, this place looks crazy and a little bit dangerous. And I don't want to be responsible for holes in everything with these creepers popping up now. <laughs> oh god. 
I could play this game for another 25 years. And not only would this build still blow my mind, but creepers will still scare the absolute crap out of me. Pinky Bear says beacon hype. Offbreed says beacon hype. Yes. Floating beacon hype. Indeed. Accepted and acknowledged. Okay, so... Yes, the storage here. I don't... Is this intentional? It doesn't look like it. Very nice. I love it. Who needs to build a base when you can just move into somebody else's base? Am I right? Shouldn't your doggos be wrecking that skeleton? Did the creeper blow up? Wait a second. I don't think the creeper blew up. Offbreed says, lol, just pick a house. Okay, well. I mean, if you're just gonna... Oh, oh my goodness. If you're gonna say it like that, then let's go pick a house. I think I found it. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay, well, I think this is my house now because I fell. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Very well done with this build. I like it a lot. Don't know how else to say it. I just, I really like it. It's a really, really cool style. Thank you, Winnie T. Ford, for sleeping. The night scares me. Try to tell Metamorphic Mike to make it daytime all the time, but is that going to happen? I guess not. Whoa. I feel like I've seen so many crazy things this evening on this server but it's always so much fun to just fly around and explore and not break your wings because that didn't happen but seeing things like this is it's really cool it's inspiring I'm getting a lot of ideas too many ideas whoa Well, let's fly around one more time and get a look. Because now it's daytime, so we should be able to see things a little bit better. Yep, still looks pretty incredible. I can see some frames and structures kind of being plotted out. So this would be another another base to keep your eye on, for me certainly to keep my eye on. See where this goes. It's gonna go somewhere pretty cool, I imagine. But yeah, I think, you know what? I think that's probably a good place to leave it. We've seen a lot of really, really cool things, a lot of inspiring, incredible bases. It's good to see what everybody's up to every now and then. Fly around and see things. Wow, okay. Still still kind of falling down from this Asuma raid hype. Uh, wasn't expecting it. Didn't really know how to handle it. But hey, that was fun. 
So thank you everyone for following, for staying as long as you did after the raid, of course. And from me and everybody else on the server, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful morning. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>